Palestine to be free. You want Palestine to be free? Yeah. All of us, inshallah. Well, hello there. <laughs> it's been like, what, two and a half years since I was last on here. But you know what? I don't even know. I don't have excuses. YouTube has never been my main thing. But then as of recent, I decided instead of watching like Netflix shows when I have free time, I started watching other people's vlogs and I got really back like into the mood and I was like, I want to vlog. And then I started overthinking it. I'm like, I don't really live an interesting life. Why does anybody care? What I'm And then I was like, you know what? I'm just going to pick up my camera. I'm just going to roll with it. And we see where the road takes us. So right now the road is taking us to decorate for Ramadan for the first time in my life actually. I have zero decor. I have no stars, no moons, no lights, no mosques, no lanterns, nothing. Literally nothing. But my daughter is almost three years old by the way which is crazy because last time I vlogged I was pregnant. So anyway she's almost three. Well not really almost. She's two and a half. But she's very like hyper aware and alert and like gets excited for stuff etc. And then I realized like even though I've been Muslim for like 12 years now, I don't really get excited about Eid the way I used to about Christmas. And I know, I know it hurts some people probably, but it's just the way it is. And then I sat with myself and I was like, why is it like that? And I realized it's all from childhood, it's all from upbringing. And you know, like the way my family used to hype it up for me and get me presents and lights and outfits and clothes and like all this stuff, you know, and family time and the food and like all of that. So I want to start hyping it up for Lily and make it special for her because like I've never decorated for myself. Like if I just put twinkle lights up for my own self and like a star and a moon on the table, it's not like, like, yay, eat feeling. It's just going to be a nice day. But for her, inshallah, because you know, I'm new to the parenting game. I just want to try my best to make it really nice for her. And also like I want to decorate, it's nice. So there's a bunch of things I ordered online because I want to support like little businesses. I put a question box like on Instagram where to get like Ramadan decor from and a lot of people were like oh Shein and oh, AliExpress and whatnot and I was like no. I want little businesses whose work is solely this and I want to support them so I think I spent like two weeks or something researching what are the best things, what will match my aesthetic, what's going to match my house, what's going to be cute, yada 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 yada. So I'm excited for them to arrive but then there's certain things I feel like it doesn't make sense to pay for shipping like I live in a Muslim country so like twinkle lights and like trays and little things like that. So I'm actually going to go check a few shops right now. Not sure I'm going to find anything but maybe I will. Okay, so far this place has a lot of decor, but <clears throat> as you can tell, it's not really my vibe. I think I like this tray, like for serving dates and some tea or coffee <clears throat> in the evening at iftar time. It's only 39 which is like $10. I think I might get this one. I'll never buy something without the approval of my bestie who's an interior designer. So she said, I can't buy it alone. I have to get matching things. Two trays, not one. Okay, let's go look for another tray. So Miss has said we need sleek black lanterns. And I think I found one that I like. Here, these will work. These are nice. I also have this inspo video from Days of Eid, but they're based in the US, so I want to do something like this on my stairs. There's a bunch of twinkle lights here. I think these are similar to that. I'm back home now. Honestly, it wasn't a very successful trip. The only thing I did get was those twinkle lights. Um, so we'll still keep looking around, seeing around. But now I don't think there's much more exciting things for me to vlog about because I need to do some work on my computer, lots of deadlines. Because if you follow me on Instagram, you would know that I have not accepted a single job, single collaboration, nothing on social media since... October the 7th and there was like three months that I absolutely posted about nothing else other than Palestine didn't even show my face didn't talk nothing it just took everything from me professionally personally and obviously the situation is heartbreaking and horrific and honestly nothing has changed 
but there's only so much that I can do. I also need to get back to work because I need to make a living. Um, so I've accepted a few projects and there's some deadlines I need to meet, some things I need to do. Um, and there's one really exciting project that I've been working on, so I'll show you a little snippet if it's finished by the time that this vlog goes live. But yeah, 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 yeah. It's heavy on all our hearts. I'm just praying for, praying for this to end. So this is one of the projects that I was working on. It's essentially a campaign to show the different activities that you can do in a place called Education City. So you can like golf and you can horseback ride and you can like go to shows and you can run and you can go to the park and go bowling. Oh wait, here's my part. Home is not the only place to get cozy and read a book. Can you believe that? <laughs> Only for these like five, ten seconds. Um, it was four hours of filming with a toddler. Good morning. It is. It is the next day. It's five fifteen in the morning. Coffee, 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 coffee. I have not vlogged in so long that I almost forgot to put my hijab on. If you're an addict like me, that first sip, bismillah. Irreplaceable, irreplaceable. So I've shared this on my Instagram so many times before. Like if you see, Lily's awake. <laughs> I'm not sure what she's doing. It's 6.10, right? And I have this like amazing toddler alarm clock. Um, and I set the time to go green at 6.25 and Lily, alhamdulillah, it took me like just a couple of days or like a week to train her to understand that unless it's green, she can't come out of her bed and she can't make noise, which means that I get to have this coffee in peace before everything goes down. It's 6.18. Um, have a few minutes before Lily calls me and I was just scrolling on my Instagram and obviously I can't keep up with all the messages but I opened one it's very deep conversations for 6 18 in the morning it's somebody asking me if I ever miss a prayer and if I struggle with it and if I have any like tips on how to not miss a prayer and if I've ever wanted or looked for a reason why God wants us to pray um, and now I'm too guilty not to respond, obviously. This is a very important and deep message, but it's 6.15. <laughs> and I know, like, my personality, I always genuinely believe myself when I'm like, I'm gonna close it now, and then I'm gonna respond later. But that later, for me, unfortunately, it never comes, so I need to answer in the moment. Um, Mommy. Mommy? Yeah. Mommy. Three homies? 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 <laughs> we put selfie camera. Preparing Lily's lunch box or lunch bag for the day. Breakfast will just be toast with some labna and then for lunch I'll make her pesto pasta which she really loves and like I used to always use the canned stuff but now like I have this go-to recipe that I randomly like throw in together it's so easy and she loves it so if I can and if it's easy I prefer to home make stuff if it's too difficult then of course not but something as easy as that like yes 
So Lily likes to snack a lot and I don't know, I just always use these little containers instead of like one lunch box. I never find that the size is good enough for like the distribution of snacks and then warm food. Like I feel it's not enough. So I always send just like an assortment of these little ones. I got them from Amazon. So she has, um, she has mangoes, she has grapes, she has cucumbers and she has strawberries. So an assortment, mashallah, what a girl. That's such a buffet. Then here's the toast that I made and now I'm gonna do the pesto pasta. Okay, so what I do, I take my moulinex, so easy. So literally put a bunch of basil inside and mm, it smells so good. Pop it in there. There's probably like one big handful. Then this part like hurts the eyes a little bit because it takes quite a lot of olive oil. Then sea salt. And then a handful of walnuts. Maybe like this much those in there and then ideally freshly grated parmesan but I ran out this says it's fresh but it's technically in a packet but you get the point so then some parmesan cheese and this will be the sauce we'll just blend it I need to plug it in Okay. Taste it. Perfect. Now we're gonna take it and move to the stove where the pasta is. By the way, this is what the sauce looks like. So it's like not super liquidy, but you know, it'll work. So we're gonna bring it over to the stove where I already boiled the pasta. Always keep the pasta water. This <laughs> is the jar it's gonna go into. So I'm literally going to dump, maybe not all of it, but some of it over here, mix it with some pasta water, and that's it. Splash of the pasta water. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna taste test one to make sure it's alright. Bismillah. Please don't fall on my white cardigan. Oh, bismillah. It's good. So she loves it. Easy. Most of her food I usually make the night before, but this one's so easy I can just do it in the morning. So in the container. We are ready to go. Yalla Lily. It's the mouth of okay? Subhanallah, this is our Lana. 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 Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Subhanak Allahumma, inni dalamtu. Nasehusita. Dalamtu nafsi, faghfirli, fa innahu la yaghfiru wa dhunuba illa. Anta. Woohoo. Akuma matara. Hakuna matara? Okay, balance. Okay, so now Lily's dropped off to the nursery. <laughs> the second half, or is it already second half? Because I wake up so early, I feel like. Oh, it's 8.30, but I've already done so many things. So this is a class I've been really into lately. It's a combination of um, Pilates. So you see the lady, like this is the kind of movements that we do. Can't show you because it's a ladies only class, so I'm not covered. And then on the other side, there's dumbbells and a mat and you just do regular like strength workouts. This is what it's like and I've been really liking it. Well, we're back in the kitchen. It's now 1 p.m. and I got home, the battery died, so I put it to charge, did a bunch of things I needed to get done on my computer, some meetings, showered. No, I didn't shower actually. <laughs> Make wudu, got ready. And now I wanna do some dinner preparations before I head out again because once Lily gets home, I wanna do minimal things, so I wanna prepare most of it. So I'm making this chicken and rice dish. It's like creamy, coconutty rice with chicken legs. So I got chicken thighs, so I'm gonna marinate them and then I'm only gonna cook them later when she's home. 
so I just put them in a bowl. I think I need to change the angle for this. Wait. Generous amount of salt. This is Himalayan, so don't freak out. It, like it's much less intense. A little bit of pepper. Then I'll do. I usually use one Estonian spice, but then I know everyone's going to be like, I don't have it, so I'll deal with stuff that I actually have. Then we have paprika powder. Season with the heart, yeah? Always with the heart. Uh, garlic powder, onion powder, whichever one you have. Then oregano. Optional. I don't always do this. And then, of course, some splash of olive oil and then you put your gloves on and just mix it all in make sure it's all in there until it's all well coated and then I'll just leave it aside to be honest normally I would cook them right away but because I need to go out and then I don't want to do everything when she gets back so just rub it really well rub it all in there and then I'll just cover it and leave it in the fridge and cook it later. Okay, let's move to the next station. Come with me. So then on your stove top, you, you would fry your onion and your garlic. Give it a mix until there is some color on here. Rice. We're gonna want one cup of rice. We're gonna squeeze one lemon. We're gonna have coconut milk, and we're gonna have some spinach. You can do kale if you're like American, <laughs> but over here in this side of the world, kale is like an ultimate delicacy. Spinach is very easily accessible. Okay, now that it has some color on it, I'm going to pour in the rice. This is one cup, but I think because I want Lily to also, usually I do one cup if it's like one meal, but uh, since I want Lily to take the leftovers tomorrow to nursery, I'm going to add a tiny bit more. Not a full cup, but like, let's say like this. And then I am going to add some of the same spices that I added on the chicken. So let this rice kind of toast on here a little bit. And then now that it's a bit toasted, I'll add in some chicken stock. Normally also about a cup, but since I added a lot more rice, I'm gonna go in with a little bit more. And then I'm gonna squeeze one whole lemon. I usually squeeze another one after cooking because I really like it zesty. And then I'm gonna add the spinach. So if I had fresh spinach, I would add fresh. Um, I don't, so just maybe like this. Gonna let it wilt in here until it's all, um, you know, not frozen anymore. And then the final touch that we're gonna have here is a full can, not full can, maybe half a can, of coconut milk. Okay, because I've made this dish so many times, I can tell that this is not enough liquid. Like, you can still see the rice. Because I'm gonna put this in the oven now, um, I, you can either add more water or you can add more stock. I have a little bit more stock, so I'm just gonna put it here because you want your rice to be covered. Take your dish, up. oven's at 190, pop it in, put a timer at 15 minutes, but it might be 20, 190, fan mode, there it goes. I would normally not buy like colorful kitchen items, but because Lily's in that phase where she really wants to <clears throat> help me in the kitchen, I thought I could tell her like, oh, can you give mommy the red one? And can you give me the blue one, etc. So she can feel like she's helping me and they're magnetic. I normally had all my measuring spoons always mismatched somewhere in the drawer. So now they're magnetic. So I like that. And I also got the bigger ones. So the cups, I like them. Hello, uh, just finished my prayer. The rice is still in the oven, but I actually need to head out. So I need it to be done quickly because I still want to go to two shops I haven't been to for Ramadan decor before I finalize some online orders. I don't want to order unless like I have to, maybe I can find them locally in Qatar. So 
just want to go check two shops before I have to pick up Lily from nursery and I'm already really tight with time so now I'm literally waiting for the rice to finish I'm gonna change my clothes and then run out uh, on Instagram a bunch of people I don't know why to be honest asked about this prayer set I think you asked about it because it comes with a matching child one so when Lily wears hers maybe in the night I can get her on the vlog to show when she wears it she doesn't always want to but sometimes she wants to um, it's so cute when you're matching but like when you're on your own <laughs> anyway uh, Haytham's cousin got it for me from Egypt the fabric is actually really soft like I wish they did um, a bit more minimalistic <clears throat> patterns than this I would like like a beige or a pink or something but yeah it's very comfy it's very cozy so I always keep like one in the living room one in the bedroom so I have enough like prayer gowns around the house that I don't have to run around yeah I'll tag them because I did find that they're on Instagram like I saw a tag somewhere oh here I never knew they're like an Instagram brand but I found their details here so I'll tag them anyway to you oh by the way how gorgeous is this painting my friend custom painted it for me like she came to my house and she looked at the colors that I have like the wood color and my sofa color etc etc and then she just made it so if you ever want like custom art in your house or even like we were brainstorming maybe she can draw something on the walls of like Lily's bedroom or something then pure talent and I really love this wait I got this light on top of it and I think it makes it look like even so much fancier especially at night so I needed one that's um, chargeable because we don't have the same voltage as the US it's not very effective right now I'll try to remember to show you at night because at night when it's like cozy atmosphere you can make it like lighter and darker it's really nice this is like the signature piece of my house Actually, no, these are also signature pieces. She also painted these two, which are actually, if I'm honest with you, more of my favorite. So you see, like, she put a lot of texture, has, again, exactly the colors of, like, all the decor that I have. And then we had to go to a custom framing place because there were no frames this size. But I think, like, these two pieces make like the living space come together so beautifully. Oops, whoa. Okay, I have issues, like I'm really late, but I felt like that was so anti-climatic. So let's do a taste test. This is after I added extra cream, another one and a half lemon, and then generous spices again, oregano, garlic, paprika, whatever else was there. Oh, and salt. Mm. Now, you could also use short grain rice, by the way. I actually prefer short grain rice, but for whatever reason, I did long grain today. Also, I think you would like making the chicken in the same pot. So what you can do is initially marinate the chicken the exact same way that I did, then fry them both sides like four or five minutes until the skin is crispy, remove the chicken, then put the onion and the garlic and do everything exactly the same. And then before you put the rice in the oven, just pop the chicken back on 20 minutes. And then you have a one pot meal. Question, how do vloggers vlog while they drive in their car? Like I have a 20 minute drive ahead of me. And I have so much to say, like, cause Haitham works abroad and like, I don't go out much. <laughs> I feel like I have so many things to say. Um, but I can't like hand hold my camera with one hand the entire time. It's dangerous. So now I'm actually going to put my camera down. But if there's some kind of like camera solution for the car, well, let me know because I don't know. Sorry, I just finished them. So skin down 10 minutes, then flip, skin up 15 minutes, and they come out crispy, juicy, perfect. 
Mira, mira. Mira acá. Lily got a bunch of new books today. Yeah? Yay! For Ramadan. So, like, let's see what we have. What is this? Prophets. Prophet Suleiman. So all of these books, I was actually um, looking at them online, but then like shipping gifts from the US was so expensive. And then I was Googling and then I came across this. As I was saying that I wanted some new books for Lily because I noticed she's really, really into uh, books. She wants to read books like as soon as she wakes up, when she goes to sleep, all the time. She wants to read books. Yeah. So I was looking online for like more like Bismillah, Alhamdulillah, Ramadan, like uh, prophets, pillars, stuff like that to add to all the like animal and hundred other books that we have. And then from the US, where the best assortment of books I felt like was at the shipping for books internationally is just so expensive so I found this like little bookstore in Qatar the storyteller in Qatar they have an Instagram account I want more stickers Matahan Bail we were reading this book then <laughs> I made her the same night. What is this? She make a drug. What? What the? What the? Mission de manimi. Mission de manimi. What Mission de nuku. Then you Now, okay. Tiki, Taki, Jackie, Jim, and Joe. Night and day, ma. Night and day, ma. What the? Go ahead, Wow. What's it, Tiki? Who made it? Me and mom. Oh, cute. <laughs> Reinforcements. <laughs> We've been chatting all day about Ramadan decor, but now she's here to play the OG fishy Fish game. game. Yeah, Lily? Yeah. Yalla. <sighs> I just put Lily to bed. It's what? It's 7:36 p.m., which probably sounds like really early to most people, but to me, I, I'm I'm beat. <laughs> So I actually thought about like doing some more things for the vlog tonight, but I I need to just chill. I haven't even talked to Haytham yet today, not a single time. And there's a bunch of people on WhatsApp who want my responses and just gonna get some urgent things done, people who urgently need my response for something. And then I'm gonna just probably aimlessly scroll my phone. I wish I could say I'm gonna go and read a book, but I'm just not that productive today. I am just gonna scroll. I watch something and go to bed because tomorrow before 6 a.m. it all starts again and I wouldn't have it any other way I did not used to be an early bird but now that I am I really I love it like I like waking up before the sun rises I love watching the sunrise I love I don't know I like it I really like it, it puts my day in a much better mood but that also means I get tired very early at night so I'm gonna call it a day for now and I'll see you tomorrow. Good morning. It is the next morning. Can you see the moon over there? I woke up and this was the first thing that I saw from my window and I was like, oh my God, the next time we're gonna see this is Ramadan. But it's like, you can even see the shape of the circle, like the full moon, kind of reflecting in the back, but then anyway, time to pray. Back in the kitchen, it's like 7.30, <laughs> preparing the lunchbox for Lily. So I got this piece of salmon. I cut little cuts into it with a knife just so the flavoring can go more inside. I put paprika powder, salt, garlic powder, and then a little bit of mayonnaise and some breadcrumbs on top. And now I'm going to take it and put it in the air fryer. Probably 10 minutes, but I'll check after 10. If it needs like two more minutes, I'll do 12. And then just spray a tiny bit of oil on it. And in the very end, I'll squeeze a lemon. So we'll do 10 minutes initially. 
Now, while the salmon is cooking, I'm gonna get ready. So I'm going to FS8, which is Pilates. So I'm gonna take a pair of leggings and then I'm gonna need a sports bra. And then I'm gonna need, oh, I need the grip socks because you can't do Pilates with your regular socks. Hmm, where are they? Okay, let's go. It's like you have nursery drop off at eight, but you also have Pilates at eight. <laughs> so let's go. Good morning. It is nine something, 9.20 a.m., something like that. Today's morning was chaos, even though I woke up like 5.30. I don't know. I just still in a rush. Have to drop Lily, prepare her bag, prepare her stuff, get her in the car, get her into the nursery. Then 8 a.m. I had Pilates, finished Pilates. It's a bit chilly outside, so I borrowed one of Haytham's like vest jacket things. And now I'm back home. And today is an exciting day. If you followed me on Instagram, you would know that one of my like dreams is coming true. So uh, I was approached by Qatar Foundation, which is like this non-profit thingy, majingi by Sheikha Moza, who's the mother of the Emir of Qatar, basically. She's like this really elegant, classy lady who's all for education and women and development and stuff like that. So anyway, she started this new women's center and mosque where they launched like, I believe, 20, 21, something like that, different sessions for women and everything to do with like their development and careers and religion and faith and all that stuff. So I will try to get some content of the place later. I'll try to go a bit early before my session and like take videos because it's so beautiful and so nice and so serene. And there's a lot of lots of different things like there's like Quran classes and there's Arabic classes and there's like gardening and there's a book club and there's like mommy circles to get to know other moms in Doha and a bunch of other things like you should check it out. Like I'm even thinking maybe to sign up to a few classes myself. But for me, my session is going to be convert like support groups or new Muslim support groups because some people don't like the word convert. Um... So yeah, I converted right like 12 years ago and I wish I had something like this at the time. So essentially it's going to be conversation based and we're going to just be there for each other. It's going to be a non-judgment zone um, because a lot of the converts, right, they lack support, they lack friends and they're like people who understand them. So it's going to be like a circle conversation. We talk about whatever you want to talk about and figure things out together and be there for each other kind of vibe. So I'm so excited. Can't wait to meet the women and I'm a little bit nervous like I wish I could get the first 10 minutes out of the way because first 10 minutes with like a new crowd in a room where no one knows each other is always a bit awkward but I'm sure that once we break the ice I think inshallah if God puts like his blessings in this it's gonna be amazing so I can't wait that's today so I'm excited about that and till then I'm still stuck with my Ramadan decor stuff so I'm probably gonna just go eat do some stuff on the computer and then I'll see you next at the center. Oh my goodness, I just arrived, so long, but uh, I'm like 30 minutes early. I'm hoping that other people are not this early because I want to do a few shots like of the entire place to show you what it looks like. It's so serene, it's beautiful. So yeah, let's go and wish me luck. <laughs> From a design perspective, oh my god, I love this. I need this. Then the calligraphy on the wall. So pretty. Sorry for the noise. I didn't know that there's still some construction over here. Anyway, so the concept is that it's a women's center and mosque. So look, all of this is the mosque prayer area. And it's totally open because it's a women's center. And then I love they brought like windows and lights and greenery and noise. And then my session is supposed to start 3.30. It's now 3, I think. And this is like a library area. Then there's like an auditorium, not auditorium, 
I think there's gonna be a famous guest speaker lady over there. So that's that. Let me just, uh, I just found out which room I am going to be teaching in. Room Bilqis. Let's go, grand reveal. I haven't been here yet. Oh my goodness, they put my chair in the middle. That's awkward. <laughs> I feel like, greetings everybody. It is me. <sighs> yeah, this is my workplace. Cute. So I think there's 20 ladies, which is quite the crowd. I'll show you the outdoors and then I gotta go. So that was the entrance. And then it's situated like in the middle of all this greenery. And then there's a little cafe over there and benches where you can just sit and eat. Yeah, so this is the venue, this is the location. This is what it's just finished. Eee! How is it? Amazing. Amazing. Alhamdulillah. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> okay, I'm home now. Um, so just quickly wanted to give like a little summary of how it went. Obviously, um, I couldn't record the session or anything like that. It's very intimate, it's very personal. I think like 12 women showed up or something like that, like from all countries, that, like Australia, New Zealand, Slovenia. Georgia, the US, um, Colombia, like there was a ton of like countries represented, all different ages, but everyone kind of going through the same thing. And we all have like common issues that we deal with and common joys and common sorrows and stuff like that. So I shared a little bit of my thoughts and then I didn't want to put anybody in the spot. So I asked like the volunteers, like whoever is more like talkative um, to share their stories and then see if there's anything in those stories that we could all together like discuss or if there's something we need to tackle or something someone's going through that someone else has already been through. And a lot came up, you know, like there was a lot of laughter because we could like relate to each other's stories, but there's also a lot of tears, especially two girls, like they cried quite a lot and then some of them really remind me of myself like 12 years ago so innocent and so pure but struggling so much to like leave certain things behind from your previous life and like some of them really really scared how to tell their parents that they've changed and 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 what else like not knowing how to pray so we said like next time um, I would show them how I learned to pray and then they'll kind of like take notes and see and stuff and then in the end we actually prayed all together which I had to leave I was like, oh my goodness, because it was Maghrib, which is an out loud prayer, but you know, I did it and it was really nice. Like, I hope um, the girls really enjoy, like, because before this session, I made a prayer, like, because sometimes not everybody sees my stories, not everybody sees my announcements, not everybody's, you know, everywhere. And I was like, you know what, whoever will benefit from this the most, inshallah, it reaches them and may there be like blessings in it. So it's nice to have that kind of support group. It's just, um, I told someone it's like anonymous alcoholics, but convert style, which is a very bad example, but it's kind of literally like that. Like you sit in a circle, you all relate to the same thing and you have a common struggle, but also common joys. And then you kind of push each other and cheer each other on, but also like, I don't know, it's nice. So I'm really happy I got the opportunity to do this. I know a lot of people have messaged me asking if I could do something like this online, but that's like a far-fetched dream right now. But right now, in person, once a week, uh, we ended up staying like two or two and a half hours, but then I was like, okay guys, I need to go. And yeah, we'll meet again next week. And I'm happy I did it. Like I'm happy for the opportunity. I feel it's, uh, it's uh, so work. It's good, balanced, you know? Good morning. It's the next day and I think this is going to be the end of the vlog. Um, it is 4.44 in the morning and prayer time is 4.55 so I have about 10 minutes so I'm trying to make up for the fasting that I have left from last year. I have seven days left. So if you're watching this, I know there's many of you out there who are also in debt. So, so um, this is your reminder to get started because it ain't easy and Ramadan is like in a month so the ones like me who have last, left it last minute not wise every single year I tell myself mm -mm. next year I'm gonna do them right away and then here I am again at least it's not last week okay it's like last month it's like okay so yeah I just um, this is I like, think the first time ever I have coffee at uh, at uh, for more time, but I want to see if it helps me 
and I didn't know what to have. It's been so long that I fasted, so I just made like this huge smoothie with bananas. I put some frozen sweet potato in it, dates, coconut milk, flax seeds, stuff like that, just to gulp it down. So now, I'll try to finish this, make a quick prayer, because I'm sure you know the last part of the night is one of the best times to make um, prayer. And I'll call this the end of the vlog. I think a lot has happened. Can't even remember half of the stuff that I've done, but inshallah you enjoyed it, and I hope I'll remain consistent in at least a little, little way. And I hope I'll see you in the next one.